Imagine a world where economies are boosted, climate change is tackled head-on, and life flourishes in areas once considered desolate, all while generating profit. This isn't some distant dream. It's a possibility that could become reality by creating new seas. To understand the potential benefits, it helps to look back 5 million years. At that time, the Mediterranean was a dry, salty wasteland, similar to Death Valley. Then came the Zanklin Megaflood, a cataclysmic event in which seawater from the Atlantic poured into the Mediterranean basin, turning a barren desert into the bustling Mediterranean Sea. Today, it's a major hub for trade, tourism, and a key part of the global economy. If this single flood could transform an entire region and sustain life for millennia, imagine what could happen if modern humans replicated this process. By intentionally filling certain low-lying areas with seawater, entire ecosystems could be created, sparking economic growth and ecological rejuvenation. One of the biggest advantages of creating new seas would be the economic impact. Coastal cities worldwide thrive due to their proximity to water, driving industries such as trade, fishing and tourism. Now, imagine creating entirely new coastlines where there were once deserts. These new shores could become hubs for commerce, creating jobs and boosting local economies that currently struggle to survive. There's also the environmental aspect. By filling depressions with seawater, the new moisture introduced into the atmosphere would lead to increased rainfall in the surrounding areas. Deserts, which currently stand as dry, barren wastelands, could experience the miraculous growth of plant life. More plants mean more carbon dioxide being absorbed, helping combat climate change. The challenges. Is it possible? Of course, creating new seas isn't without its challenges. It would require enormous engineering feats, careful environmental planning, and substantial financial resources. There would also be the potential for unintended environmental consequences. For example, introducing seawater into certain areas might disrupt existing ecosystems. Political challenges would also arise. Filling large depressions with seawater would likely require cooperation between multiple nations. However, with modern technology and an informed, collaborative approach, the risks could be mitigated. The power of wetlands and wildlife. One of the first things that happens when you flood a depression with seawater is the creation of wetlands. Wetlands are nature's nurseries, crucial for many species, especially fish and birds. In coastal areas, wetlands provide safe spaces for young animals to grow. Coastlines naturally attract plant life too, and when plants and animals start appearing, the economy isn't far behind. A climate-friendly move. Large bodies of water aren't just good for creating new economies. They can also help stabilize local climates. Water has an amazing ability to absorb heat during the day and release it at night. In areas prone to extreme heat, this moderating effect could make life a lot more bearable. Arid regions could benefit from cooler temperatures at night, making them more livable for humans and improving conditions for agriculture. Where could we create new seas? So, there are several regions that resemble the Mediterranean basin before it was flooded millions of years ago. These are places below sea level. A great example of this is the Dead Sea. It sits between 200 and 600 meters below sea level. Flooding the Dead Sea with seawater from the nearby Mediterranean could transform the entire region. As the water rushes in, it could generate electricity through hydropower. That electricity could be used to power desalination plants, providing fresh water for irrigation and human consumption. The Red Dead Conveyance Project Jordan had a vision. They called it the Red Dead Conveyance Project. The plan was to create a canal linking the Red Sea to the Dead Sea, pumping water into the world's saltiest body of water and generating clean energy along the way. But like many ambitious projects, it hit a wall. Well, a political wall. The reason? 
Jordan shares a border with Israel, and while this project would benefit both nations, Israel wasn't all that excited. Israel's Med Dead Canal Why wasn't Israel on board with Jordan's idea? Because they've got their own plan, the Med Dead Canal. This project would link the Mediterranean Sea to the Dead Sea, covering a shorter distance with fewer geographical challenges like mountains. Sounds like a more efficient plan, right? Well, it's not that simple. Jordan doesn't want to rely too heavily on Israel, and without full cooperation, both plans have stalled. The Katara Depression Unlike the Dead Sea, the Katara Depression is entirely within Egypt's borders, meaning no other country can interfere with plans to flood it. Hydroelectric Power and Desalination As seawater rushes in from the Mediterranean, it would create natural water flow through pipelines, which could be harnessed to generate electricity. That electricity could then be used for desalination, providing Egypt with much-needed fresh water. A new hub for wildlife, tourism, and economy. When you add water to a dry, desolate region, life follows. Birds, fish, plants, they all thrive when there's water. A new Katara Sea would create an oasis in the middle of the Sahara, attracting wildlife and boosting biodiversity in the region. And where there's wildlife and natural beauty, there's tourism. The new Katara Lake could become a hotspot for tourists, further boosting Egypt's economy. Hotels, restaurants, ports, and amenities would spring up, providing jobs and economic growth, helping the world lowering sea levels. Flooding the Katara, depression could actually help lower global sea levels. The depression is massive, and filling it with seawater would reduce the volume of water in the Mediterranean by a small but meaningful amount. In fact, flooding the Katara could lower global sea levels by around 3 millimeters. Now, 3 millimeters might not sound like much, but in a world where rising sea levels are threatening coastal cities and island nations, every little bit helps. Egypt would be doing the world a favor by creating this new sea, helping to combat the impacts of climate change. So, why hasn't this happened yet? The idea of flooding the Katara Depression has been around for decades, and the Egyptian government has even considered it. But like any massive infrastructure project, it comes with challenges funding, environmental impact studies, and the sheer scale of the work needed to make it happen. But the benefits far outweigh the risks. The Katara Depression is a prime candidate for creating a new sea that would generate clean energy and provide fresh water, boost the economy, and help lower sea levels. It's a win-win-win. Egypt has a golden opportunity here with no international disputes standing in the way and a perfect location just waiting to be transformed, the Katara project could be a game changer, not just for Egypt, but for the world. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Let us know what you think in the comments.